Hello everyone and welcome to this installment of Continuum Tips and Tricks. And for today's tip, I would like to show you guys how to change the background when using Continuum. Most reviewers and even Microsoft employees have always demonstrated Continuum using the default Windows 10 Hero background. And it's an awesome background. It was made with an actual physical window that they created with a bunch of smoke and lights. So they did a great job and I like to show that one off too. But you may want a different background. And today that's what I'll show you how to do. First things first, Lumia 950. And in the background, Microsoft Display Adapter is already set up. If you'd like to know how to get that Display Adapter set up, I do have a video that shows just how to do that. But for today, we're gonna jump right into Continuum. So we click here in the middle for my Continuum tile that's gonna take us to the How Will You Connect screen. We're gonna connect wirelessly today. Fortunately, I don't have a wireless dock, but I hope to have one in the future. Hit Connect at the bottom. At the top is gonna to show the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. Click that to connect to it, and then you are connected. And here is that wonderful background that Microsoft created with actual materials, real smoke, real lights, and a real window frame that they created. It's an excellent YouTube video that shows how that background was created. But today I want to show you how to change it. So first things first, there are two ways to do this. One, you can do it through the settings app in Continuum. So I can actually go down to settings and change that. I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you my preferred way, which is actually doing it on your phone. So we're going to hit Start, All Apps, we're going to jump down to Settings. This way of doing it is just the same way that you would do it on a Windows 10 PC. Okay, so we'll go right into Settings, and then we're going to Personalize, Personalize, yes, that word. Don't know why I messed that up the first time, but oh well, moving right along. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom using my two finger gesture on the trackpad in case anyone didn't realize that the touchpad works just like it does pretty much as a regular Windows 10 touchpad. So down here at the bottom there's a new option under second display. Well second display only shows up when you have a second display so the whole thing's new if it's your first time using Continuum. So we're going to choose browse currently set to sample images. You can choose my picture which will be your pictures. Or you can do none, but we're going to do sample. We're going to hit browse, and then we will change it to a different background. So now that background's changed, we're going to exit the settings app. And now you can see there's a totally different background. But the reason that I prefer to change it on the phone is that you can see it change instantly. So when you change it within the continuum desktop environment, you can't see the picture change. You just have to exit or minimize settings to actually see it change. But I'll show you how to change that on your device. So we're going to go back here to the phone, which that background is pretty bright, so it might not focus in as well. In the top right, there are the three dots. Click on the three dots to get your options. Choose Personalize. And then at the bottom, you have the same options. We're going to choose Browse, Sample Images, and you just click it. And it changes almost before your finger can come off the screen. And this is wireless, and wireless has a slight delay. So if it was wired, it would probably be even faster, if that's even possible. So we'll do the same thing again. We're gonna go back here, hit browse, and then we'll change it to a different one. And we'll hit browse again and change it to a different one again. Now, these are the preloaded images, so they load faster. Now, you have to take into consideration where your images are coming from. So to load from OneDrive, they gotta actually load before they show up on your monitor. But it's actually still pretty quick. So we'll take a snap at that. So I'm gonna go back and I don't want to do the sample images. I'll change it to my pictures and then I'll hit browse. So from there, I can scroll through my random photos here. I'll choose one that's from OneDrive. Let's see, let's take this picture here. Now what you can do is choose how much of the picture you want to use as the background. So I want the entire picture. It's going to save it and then it's going to change it. So it's not, it's, it's not instant like it was when it was one of these sample pictures, but it's still pretty fast. And then from there, if you want to go back to the touchpad, in the top here, you would just click tap to control. And it gets you back to your touchpad and then you can control the desktop environment again with your new background. It is a little bit faster 
changing backgrounds if you use a picture that's on the device versus a picture that's from OneDrive. So if I had to rate the speed and um, order of which one's faster, the sample images or the included images are the fastest. Local images that you took on your phone are second fastest. Local image that you took on your SD card will come in third, followed by OneDrive pictures. And so you can quickly and easily change your background there to basically any background that you would like to have on your Continuum desktop environment. Me personally, I just prefer the standard Windows 10 Hero image because it shows everyone that you're using Windows 10 or a Windows environment or a Windows computer. Um, if I use my personal backgrounds, who knows, this could be an iPhone projected or an iPad or, or an Android tablet or some other device. But this Windows Hero image really shows that, hey, this is Windows and not just any Windows, it's Windows 10. So that's it for today for the Continuum Tips and Tricks. I want to show you guys how to change the background. Feel free to change your backgrounds. Wait, there's more. When you change your background, there's another option that I did not go through. What I'll do first is let's choose another picture that does not actually fit the screen. So I'm back here browsing pictures and let's see. I don't want to use that one because that one's landscape. I want a portrait picture. Good old portrait photo. I'm sure I got one in here. I got one of my fireplace. So this picture is in portrait. And as we all know, monitors and TVs are landscape. So here's what you got. An extremely zoomed in version of the photo for the background. But I can change that. Down here under where I chose the picture is choose the fit. Right now it's set to fill, so to fill the entire screen. But I can change it to fit, and it will fit that picture right there in the middle, which I don't necessarily like. And I don't actually like that on any computer either. But you do have those options. Then you can change from fit to stretch, where it stretches it, which is even worse. It looks like when someone is making a flyer and they don't know how to grab the corner of the picture, they just grab the size and they stretch it out and they throw it on a flyer. Horrible. Or you can go to center and what that does is centers the picture in the middle. It still slightly zooms it in, but at least it's not stretched and yeah, it still looks bad. So what I highly recommend is not using portrait photos at all, unless it's one of a person. And so if you just want to have that person on there, which unfortunately we'll use my ugly mug right now and we'll just put me on there just to demonstrate how it can actually work out a little bit if you want to have a person on there. And what I recommend is not necessarily having the whole face, but, you know, it could be somebody you really like to look at. You can have a portrait picture and then have the face on there as your background, which looks a lot better than having a random background like a fireplace that's stretched and it's not interesting at all. So that's on fill. We'll change it to fit, and that way you can see how it has uh, just me there like that. But enough of me. Let's go ahead and put this back to that hero image. And once again, I thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys are either enjoying your 950 and 950 XL or looking forward to getting those devices. But after a while, Microsoft said they're going to move Continuum to lower-priced phones, which would be fantastic. So thanks again for watching. I will go ahead and end this video now. In the comments section, feel free to ask any questions that you'd like to ask about Continuum or even the 950 or Windows 10 Mobile in general. I'll probably try to answer them all in the comments section over the next week or two. And I'll probably have a review for the device in about a month or so because I want to really get some hands-on time with the Lumia 950 and Windows 10. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.